What's up, PassFit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a dumbbell leg workout. We recommend having a few different weights available to you so that you can switch up the resistance depending on the movement. You will also need a box, bench, or a sturdy chair available. You can follow along with me for the standard moves. And you can follow me for modifications. If you're ready to go, let's get started. Let's get started by warming up our lower body. The first one we're gonna perform is a deep squat. So we're gonna line up with our feet, hip width apart, maybe our toes pointed out just a little bit. Now we're gonna squat down, sitting back, weight in our hips as deep as we can, dropping down for one, two, three, back up. Every time I want you to try to get a little bit lower again. Come on, down, dropping down, keeping your feet flat. One, two, three, back up. Not rocking back onto your heels or coming forward onto your toes. Again, one, two, three, excellent. Breathe in on the way down, ready, begin. One, two, Three, excellent. Last one, getting as deep as possible on this one. And again, sitting back, keeping that good upright posture. And back up. All right, feeling good. A little combination move for you next. We're gonna move to the floor on one knee. It is a T-spine rotation plus hamstring stretch. So a two for one movement here. I'm gonna place my hands on my head. Now I'm going to move forward into that lead leg while I rotate away from it. That's that T-spine rotation. And then now I'm gonna come back, straighten that front leg up and almost bring my opposite elbow to that knee. That's the hamstring stretch. So alternating between the two, slow and controlled here. Might take you a few repetitions to get the hang of it. This was working multiple muscle groups, hamstrings, hip flexors, quadriceps, adductors, abductors, ankle mobility, mid-back. Yeah, I think this might be my new favorite warm-up move. All right, switching legs now. Same move, opposite leg. Gotta make sure we hit both sides, right? Okay, again, hands on the head, leaning into that lead leg as we rotate away. And then straighten that leg. Feel that stretch in the hamstring. Ooh. Even gonna work your balance a little bit here. Maybe your mobility's better than ours or not quite where ours is. So make this move work for you. It takes a lot of coordination too. Yeah. It's also a good brain workout. That's true. So just going at a controlled pace here. For three, two, one, zero. All right, on our feet here, we're going to do one more kind of combination move. It's a lateral lunge plus another T-spine rotation. So starting my feet together, I'm gonna to step out to my left side and get into a deep lateral lunge, as deep as you can. Weight back in the hips, feel that stretch in your inner thigh as well as your hip as you kind of gently press out. And now we're gonna go in the opposite direction. Pivot your feet, left hand down, Right hand up, rotate. Okay, now back into that lateral lunge, deep this way, and then switch it up into that T-spine rotation. Breathe throughout, again, not a race. This is controlled warm-up, just a dynamic stretch, dynamic warm-up. Last one, rotate. All right, very good. Okay, back up. Now we have to do it in the opposite direction, right? So starting from our standing position, 
Let's perform that lateral lunge to our right side. Dropping down deep, out on that hip, and then pivot those feet. Right hand down, left hand up, and an opposite. Again, making it work for you and your mobility level. And back. Nice controlled breathing here. Again, another lower body warm-up move that's hitting so many muscle groups. For three, two, one, and done. Oh. All right, feeling wow. hopefully nice and limber in our lower Man, body. From head to toe. <laughs> yeah. Ready for the work that is to come. <laughs> and so today oh. we... Yeah, so we, we actually, I thought we were done. No, no, no that was oh. actually just a warm up. Okay. We got a workout coming up. <laughs> Working on our lower body today with some supersets. First one is going to be a dumbbell step up. So in the introduction, we did tell you you're going to need either a box, bench, or a sturdy chair. So now's the time to grab that. You're going to notice my box is a little bit higher than Claudia's. So it's going to make my variation just a little bit harder. And then we need two dumbbells. And if you haven't done a dumbbell step up before, honestly, you could start with just body weight as well. So we're gonna leave that up to you. Absolutely. We're gonna perform eight repetitions on each leg and we're gonna do them together. So let's put that right leg up on the box. We're gonna give you a demonstration to start. I'm gonna come straight up, trying to eliminate my back leg. I want that leg on the box to do all the work. Straight up control, one 1,000, and then control the lowering portion back down eight on this right leg just like that and then we're going to switch it up to the other leg ready and begin again i can't stress enough how important it is to control that lowering phase of the move it would be much easier to just allow your body to flop back down but we're going to focus a lot on time under tension today make sure you have a box where you can fit your entire foot that way you're not just on your tippy toes or leaving some of your heel hanging off. It's a great point. And it's gotta be sturdy. We have one more after this. Here we go, here's number eight right here. Control, control. Okay, same move, opposite leg. Let that right leg break, our left leg is gonna work. Ready, and begin. When choosing a box height, at the highest you would ever want to go was maybe where your thigh is just a little beyond parallel to the floor. Exhale as you come up. That's five. And again, controlling both ends. We're balancing here, improving our balance at the same time. You have one more to go. Here's number eight. Nice job. Okay, so we can set your dumbbells and the box to the side. We're gonna go back and forth between two complementary movements. So our next one is going to be a quadruped abduction. So we're gonna come down onto all fours. That's that quadruped position. Back is straight. With my right leg, I'm gonna bring my right hip straight up out into the side without rotating my back and then back down. We're going to do all one leg at a time. So 15 repetitions on our right leg and then the opposite side. Ready and begin. It's a great one for our glutes. Nice and controlled again, not a raise. Squeeze those glute muscles up at the top. 10 more. Don't rotate your whole body on this one. Again, really focus on just that abduction of the hip, making that glute do the work. Yeah, just kind of pretend like you're trying to balance something on your back. Oh, that's a great analogy. That way you ensure that just your hip is moving. You have four more. Got a water glass up there and we don't want to spill that glass of water or a glass of wine if that's your preference. Mm -hmm. That's my preference. Last one right here. Nice job. All right, so same move, opposite side now. Left leg, ready, begin. And you're getting a full range of motion on this one. 
strong, having strong glutes is so important. <laughs> helps us to improve our posture, helps alleviate back pain, avoid injuries. It's also essential for having a strong core, having nice, strong glutes. Indeed. So this is an isolation exercise for those glutes combined with that compound move in the step ups. And you have six more to go. Squeeze that glute up at the top on every single repetition. Taking it to its full range of motion. And you have your last one right here. All right, very nice good. Work. There's 15. Okay, so that's one time through the superset. So that means we're gonna need our box, bench, or chair, whatever you're using for our second set. And um, highly encourage you to adjust your weight as needed here. Mm -hmm. So if you went too heavy the first set, then you can reduce your weight. If you weren't feeling challenged for eight repetitions on each leg, well, then increase your weight. Okay, right foot back up on the box. Eight repetitions, big deep breath, and here we go. Again, controlling the way up and the way down. You gotta keep reminding yourself of that. Also, don't allow that back leg that's coming in contact with the floor to give you that push off. It's so tempting to kind of like jump up off every single time. That really defeats the purpose. Force yourself to make that lead leg do all the work. Woo, one more to go. Last one. <sighs> all right. Now eight on the left. Ready. And begin. This is called a unilateral exercise. We're forcing one leg to work independently of the other. Helps us to correct any imbalances that we may have. This exercise is working your hamstrings, your quadriceps, your glutes, and your balance, which I'm sure you've noticed. Last one. And control. Excellent. Okay, so again, dumbbells down, box to the side. We're gonna go back into that quadruped position and we're gonna attack those glutes. All right, <sighs> back on all fours. Couple big deep breaths here in between. Letting our body recover for just a moment in between sets, very important in our strength training. Okay, starting with our right leg. Ready, and begin. Again, no rotation. You have that glass balanced on your back. It's also great for just overall hip health. You can see why we spend so much time warming up those hips in the warm up. Core stays engaged. You don't want to be loose in your midsection on this one. Five more. Staying focused throughout. You got it, Tribe. And last one right here. You can even feel it on the stationary leg a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah, just to support you. Okay, left leg, ready, hit it folks. And control here. This one doesn't look like much for those 15 repetitions. If you're doing it right and under control, you will feel it. Especially when combining with everything else we got in store for that lower body today. Ooh, I can already feel it. Squeeze that glue up at the top. Here's number nine, um, excuse me, number 10, five more. <laughs> Let it relax every time. Squeeze it up top. Boom. Two more. You got it almost there. And last one, 15. Nice job. Excellent. We're gonna begin our next superset with a unique squat variation that's gonna really engage your core. We're gonna need two dumbbells for a dumbbell rack and suitcase squat. 
do not be afraid to go a little bit heavier on this one as we really focus on lighten up that lower body. We're gonna take our right dumbbell and bring it up into a rack position and keep that left one down at the side in the suitcase position. Now I want you to focus on engaging that core. We're gonna press out in a 360 degree brace around our whole core. So not just in the front, but all around. That whole core is gonna stay tight throughout. Now as I inhale, breathe in, I'm gonna lower my body, bending at my knees. My thighs are parallel to the floor. Back up as I exhale. We're gonna do 12 in this position. Ready, and begin. Again, keep that core braced and tight. We don't want it loose. That core needs to be tight and engaged to maintain this position and support this weight. Keeping your head up, your chest up, and your shoulders back. So it's definitely important to brace. And we're not falling back onto our heels. We're not coming forward onto our toes, but we're pressing through the midfoot right in the middle of your foot. Again, getting a full deep squat here. Halfway. Full range of motion. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Yes, we are working your shoulders and arms a little bit, just holding those dumbbells as well. We'll call that extra credit on this one. Two more. You got it. Last two try. Stay tough. Nice and controlled. Okay, so we oh. can set those dumbbells down, giving your arms a break. Yes. And we talked about complementary, uh, working complementary muscle groups. Now we're going to focus on your calves while the rest of your legs take a breather. We're going to do either a pogo jump or a pogo raise. So this is a low impact variation on my side. Yeah, or no impact. No impact. So we're gonna rock back onto our heels and then I'm going to explode the ball of my foot into the ground, jump up and land. And I'm just gonna explode onto the balls of my feet but maintain that contact with the ground. So again, heel rocks back, ball of the foot into the floor for 12 repetitions. You decide which variation is most appropriate for you. Ready? And begin. Woo. Keeping a nice soft bend in both of our uh, both of our knees. Again, not a race on this one. I know easy to turn it into a like a cardiovascular. But instead, really focus on driving that ball of the foot into the ground for that triple extension forcing those calves to do the work on this one. Two more. Last one. one. Yep. Ah. Ah, nice job. All right, so calves are gonna take a rest. Now we're going back to that dumbbell rack and suitcase squat, two dumbbells. Make sure when you're picking them up, you're using those legs. Yes, thank you for the reminder. Well, that wasn't actually supposed to be, it was supposed <laughs> to be for them, but for anybody who's listening, my wife included. All right, so let's switch up our grip on this one. So now let's take that left dumbbell in that rack position, right dumbbells by our side, feet hip width apart, breaking at the hips first. Ready, begin. Control the lowering phase and back up. Core is braced and tight. And if you're not quite sure, you don't feel confident in your bracing, there's a lot of good content on the internet. A simple search, how to brace my core for a squat will do you right. But it's a little bit beyond the scope of today's session to <laughs> get into a five minute explanation. Oh yeah. But you wanna stay braced, protect that back, engage and work your core. Again. Inhale down and exhale as you come up. Again, be so much easier to speed this up. But we want to focus on that time under tension, making those muscles work. This is number nine right here. Last three. Come on, you got it. 
Stay strong all the way to the end. Feeling those legs working. Oh, I'm feeling that shoulder work too, my goodness. Last one. Yeah, and there's 12. Oh. All right, set the dumbbells down. Shake the arms and your legs out. Like I said, you get a little extra credit in the upper body and the arms there. Nothing wrong with that. We have the pogo jump or the pogo raise. Last 12 of this one. Again, focus on driving that ball of the foot into the floor. Slight bend, soft knees throughout. All right, ready, begin. Rocking back, drive into the floor. Rock back, drive. And if you're doing my variation, we're actually jumping. Make sure you land with soft knees. Making those calves do the work here. Halfway point. And of course, other muscle groups are getting involved a little bit, and that's all right. 100% effort on that raise, whether you're jumping or not. This is your last one right here. Big Let's power. Go. Ah, there it is, there's 12. Next up, we're gonna perform a side lunge. I'm gonna do mine from an elevated position. And I'm gonna do mine from the floor, and we'll show you what that looks like. So that means I'm grabbing a box just to increase the level of difficulty on this one. I'm gonna place my left leg up on the box, keeping that left leg straight. I'm gonna come into that right leg, dropping down until my hips are about parallel to the floor, and then back up. So for my variation, I'm doing the exact same thing, but I am leaving my left leg on the floor, going down into the side lunge squat, and then coming back up. All right. Whichever variation you choose, eight repetitions on each leg, just our body weight is gonna be enough on this one. For sure. Ready, and begin. Weight in the hips, back up. Getting a full range of motion. Inhaling on the way down exhaling on the way up both legs are working on this one but they're just working in different capacities and you may not be able to go down quite as deep as i'm going so even if you're just here that's perfectly fine as you come through this movement you will find that your flexibility will improve yeah come back repeat the routine get a little better mobility over time two more to go and inhaling and controlling the way down and the way up. And last one. All right, so it's gonna be same move, but opposite side now. So if you're using the box, set up on the opposite side there. So now we're gonna have our right leg straight, breathing in on the way down for eight repetitions. And let's go. And control. Oh, it's gonna feel that nice stretch oh, yeah. along your inner thigh. Not one you wanna race through. Again, probably some of those warm up moves are making more sense to you now, right? <laughs> you can see why we warmed up what we did. See, there's a method to the madness here. Thinking Inhale. ahead. Exhale, very good, come on. Three more. Getting stronger with every repetition. Just using body weights, putting a lot of resistance on that one leg. Oh yeah, and last one right here. All right. Excellent. Come on up. Again, working some complementary muscle groups. This next one is gonna focus on our posterior chain. That's our backside. We need two dumbbells. We're gonna perform a staggered dumbbell swing. So we're gonna get into a staggered stance. So I'm gonna place my right foot back about a foot, one and a, uh, one and a half feet length back. A slight bend in that lead leg. I'm going to hinge at, well, first off, bracing my core. Now I'm gonna hinge at my hips. Dumbbells go back, hips go forward. Hips back, hips forward. So it's that lead leg, feel that hamstring working as hips go forward and back. We're gonna do eight repetitions on each side. Ready and begin. So I like to say that hips are doing all of the work 
and the arms are just along for the ride. Keep that head in line with your spine. Hips back, hips forward. Ah. Last one, and eight. All right, so same move, opposite side here. Again, another one working your balance. Oh yeah. So left leg back on that ball of the foot. Slight bend in that lead leg. Swing the dumbbells back, begin. Hinging at the hips. Feel that stretch in your hamstring on this one. And then those glutes are firing to help stand you back up. Breathe in, breathe out. Last one, and eight. Ooh. Okay, so that was eight on each. One time through for that superset. And that means we're going back to our side lunge. And again, you get to decide, makes more sense for you to have it elevated. And this is a relatively high boxer elevation. This is around 18 inches. Maybe you want something in between. Maybe you wanna, you wanna do elevated, but you don't want it so high. You can choose a lower implement as well. For sure. Some different tools to work with there. All right. Giving you a minute here to get, get some- Get your breath. Get your breath, get your legs right again. Strength training is not a race. Nope. We need between 30 to 60 seconds between each set for recovery. So that's what I'm giving you here as I'm killing some air time. All right. Left straight leg, getting set up. Eight on each leg. And begin dropping back, keeping your balance. And I know a lot of people come to these strength training videos are used to doing like hit or cardio and you know, kettlebell which are great, we love those too. But when you're doing strength training, you really need to focus on two things that are different. One is that time under tension, which we've talked about. And two is longer rest periods for Mac to maximize your results. We need 30 to 60 seconds between. Last one right here. All right, oh. good. And so in that case, if you feel like, hey, I'm not being challenged with these longer sets, or longer breaks. Well, that means you need more weight, more resistance, make it harder. <laughs> All right, same move. Right straight leg now. Big deep breath as we lower our bodies. And begin. Sitting back. Again, keep that foot flat as you come down. You don't wanna fall back onto your heels. We don't wanna come forward onto your toes. Good posture as well. All things to consider and to stay focused on. You're doing great, keep Halfway. it up. Halfway, yep. That's number five. Every repetition is getting us that much closer to our goals. Last one, right here, push through. Getting stronger. You got this, let's go. Ah, there's eight. Oh uh, those are working. I can feel them. Oh man, so can I. All right. I got this perspiration going here. <laughs> we need two dumbbells for our staggered dumbbell swing. Again, adjusting your weight accordingly. If it was too easy, increase the resistance. Don't be afraid. That's um, right. You know, I'm specifically also talking to some of the women out there. If it doesn't apply to you, then don't take offense, but many women are sometimes scared to increase their weight. Women are strong, you can do it. And actually increasing my weight was the best thing I've ever done for body composition, so push it. Yeah, it doesn't mean you're gonna turn into Arnold Schwarzenegger. Nope. Okay. All right, off the soapbox, here we go. Ready? Stagger stance. <laughs> bend in that lead leg, a little bend that knee. Ready, and begin. Hips back, hips forward. Core stays tight and engaged, embraced. Squeeze those glutes up at the top. Six, here we go, two more. Exhale as you drive those dumbbells up, and eight. All right, same move, opposite side. Last Ooh. eight of these, you got it. Come on, folks, stay strong, and begin. Stand balanced. Drive those hips back like you're trying to touch them to the wall behind you on every repetition. Two more. <laughs> Last one. I almost lost nice my balance. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> this next superset is gonna burn out that lower body. Oh yeah. Getting started with a split ISO squat. I'm gonna use two dumbbells for this one. And I'm actually gonna use no equipment. So no dumbbells for me. 
So ISO means isometric. It just means you're going to hold a position. So we're going to get into a deep isometric squat or a deep lunge position. And I'm actually going to allow, I actually, I not just allow, but I'm going to force that knee over my toes while keeping my heel down flat. So we're going to work on that knee strength on this one. We're just going to hold that position. So holding that position for 30 seconds. So it's a mm -hmm. timed set, weight or no weight, you decide which. So again, getting down deep, dropping that back knee. Deep is going to look different for everybody. Deep as you can safely and comfortably. And here we are, 30 seconds in total. Good posture. Again, so purpose of, I'm going to busy your mind here for a minute. The purpose of getting <laughs> that do. knee over your toe is to strengthen those knees and it's also going to increase and improve your ankle mobility here. Ooh, 10 more seconds. Hold, hold, hold tight, it. hold tight. Good posture. Head up, chest up. That's it. Big deep breaths. Three, two, one, break. Ah, oh. okay. <laughs> so both legs are working there, but primarily it is that lead leg. Yes. Ooh, and you're going to feel that blood rush into your brain as well. A couple big deep breaths here. Okay, so we're actually going to do the opposite side now. Surprise for another <laughs> for another 30 seconds. Nice, big, deep split squat. Again, begin. Again, you want to keep that foot flat, though, so you're not coming forward onto your toes. That's right. Keep that heel on the ground. Heel on the ground, and we're just going to hold it. And over time, this is going to improve that knee strength, improve your mobility in those lower extremities. You're almost there. Making that lead leg do the majority of the work. Good Here upright go. posture. And three, two, one, and break. Ah, all right. Oh my goodness. All the blood is Ooh. in the lower body right now. And I got to tell you, it's going to continue. To do that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We are going to alternate uh, those deep iso split squats with a quarter squat plus a side tap. So again, by design here at the end, we're getting some major time under tension in our lower body. Remember, it's that 30, sec 30 to 60 second break, so enjoy it. Quarter squat position right here. Not all, not all the way down, just a quarter. Holding here, we're going to tap eight times alternating right to left. So eight, uh, 16 in total, eight in each direction. All right, ready? And begin, quarter squat. There we go. And that quarter squat specifically really nails those quadriceps, that big thigh muscle in front. Keep breathing here. Halfway. We're not coming up in between, if you didn't notice. Staying down in this quarter squat position the whole time. Three more. And last one right here, 16. All right, Ooh. standing up. Shake it out. Shake it out. Because we're going back. Because we're going back to, to the that ISO split squat. squat. That's right. If you're questioning your life, holding on to some dumbbells, you can drop them for your next set, or... If it's too easy and you want to... Exactly. You're a masochist and you want to ramp it up, increase the weight. That's right. You decide. What works best for you. All right. Don't be afraid to push yourself. So that's right. That's what it's all about. That's how we change. Yep. Can't spell change without a challenge in there. All right. Left leg in front first, 30 seconds in total. Ready. Big, deep squat. Forward, good. Breathing. It's that time of the workout where it becomes more mental than physical. It'd be really easy to pause this workout and be like, you know what? That was good for the day. <laughs> but you've made it this far. Go right to the end. That's right. You got 10 more seconds. I know you can do it. You got it in you. Let's go. Finish strong. Come on. A couple big deep breaths and you're there. Three, Here we are. Two, one, and break. All right. Oh. Up. It's Ooh. working. We can feel it. We're right there with you, tribe. 
thousands, maybe millions of us at home feeling that same burn you are, all in it together. We got right foot in front next, right lead leg. Here we go, come on, you got it. Push into the end. Ready, and drop. Go to your happy place. We're not gonna quit when it hurts. We're gonna stop when we're done. That's just the type of mentality that you need to have in life. You're gonna finish the job. You started it. That's right. Right here, right now. Come on, you got it. Keep your word to yourself. Follow through. Don't be a quitter. Come on, you got what 10 brought more you seconds. Here today? What brought you here? Why are you here? What are you working towards? Think Woo! about it. Think about it. Come on, in three, two, one, and break. Ah, burn so good. Burn so good. <laughs> All righty, all righty. Shake it out. No more of those. That I can promise you. Done with those. All right. We have that quarter squat plus side tap next. 16 in total. Eight each way. Just going to finish off those legs right here. So close. Picture that finish line in front of you. Just a few feet or meters away. For my <laughs> metric friends out there. Which is everybody except Which for is us. most people. Yeah, are, which just, is the rest of the world. Exactly. All right. Quarter squat position. Here we are. And let's tap. Left to right. You got it. Good posture here. We're not coming up in between. Staying down. You got it right here. Come on. Halfway. Come on. Pushing yourself. Come on. Prove it to yourself right here. So close. Two more, come on. Last one, that's it. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That's it. Nice work out there, has fit drive. She liked that one, I saved it. She didn't know that one was coming. She, I really... <laughs> we do have a cool down. Uh, and this is the easy part. We're gonna bring our heart rates down slowly and focus on a little bit of mobility and recovery work. Our first one is gonna require us to move to the floor on one knee. It is a kneeling hip flexor stretch. So we are gonna stretch out our hip flexors as well as our quadriceps. Got a lot of work in today. Let's put our hands on our hips. I want you to squeeze and contract your glutes and your abs. Those are both staying tight. Poke them, are they tight? All right. They're now, tight. All right, now all right. let's come forward while maintaining that tightness. We don't need a lot. And this leg, this knee that's down, you're gonna feel that stretch in here. Definitely feeling it in the hip flexor. And if you're loose here, then you will able to come all the way forward and won't feel anything. So instead, stay tight and it won't take a lot, just a minimal range of motion to get that stretch. For three, two, one. All right, same move, opposite side now. Ready, and tight abs, tight glutes, and then come forward, maintaining that tightness. And feel that stretch down the quadricep, as well as your hip flexor. Breathe through the movement. Focus on bringing that heart rate down after that tough workout. For three, two, one, zero. All right, we get to move to our backs for this next one. We're gonna perform a lying figure four. So from our backside, I'm gonna place my left foot firmly down on the floor and bring my right leg up over my left knee. I'm gonna reach through my legs, grab that back of my left leg, and now I'm gonna pull it towards me. You can have your head down on the floor if that's more comfortable or if it's more comfortable for you to get your head up off the floor, that works as well. It, really, it's a pref personal preference thing, whichever feels more comfortable to you. I'm loving all the hip work. And yes, and today. this one is stretching your hips, stretching your glutes, even get a little hamstring stretch on this one as well. We so neglect our hips, especially in today's society where we're sitting all the time, working from home, sitting in traffic, sitting on a train. I mean, it's... They just don't get used very often. And switch, same move, opposite side, and begin. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth, Claudia, on that oh. one. And if you think about it, sitting the way that we do in the 
21st century is actually pretty unnatural, right? To spend oh, yeah. this much time sitting down. So our hips don't know what to do. It's one of the leading causes of lower back pain. So oh yeah, for sure. And don't be alarmed if one side's tighter than the other. My left side is definitely tighter than my right. And if you can't quite reach behind that leg, I should have said, I'm sorry, grab a band or a towel, something to help you uh, get back there and yeah. pull for three, two, one. All right, speaking of lower back, we got one move here for your lower back. We're gonna do a knees to your chest. Before we do this, I want you to glue your lower back and your tailbone to the floor. Now, those are glued down, pushing straight down pressure. Now, bring your knees up and to your chest, but we're not rolling up, right? So again, that tailbone is glued to the floor. And we're just gonna hold here, a couple of deep breaths taking a moment to just be proud of yourself for what you achieved today. That's right. You did it, you showed up, and you finished. And you're gonna do it again tomorrow or your next regularly scheduled workout. This is a habit that you have, a healthy discipline. And three, two, one, zero. Woo wee, we made it. We made it, you can stay on the ground. We have to we get up. We gotta get up. And you did not skip leg day today. <laughs> you got it done. Speaking of discipline, you know, one of the things that helps you keep coming back and staying on your regular workouts is a complete program. We highly recommend them. Also help you to get faster results. And um, those programs can be found where? On the HasFit app. So check it out, whatever device you use. You can also help support us by stopping by our store, picking up some HasFit gear, like a t-shirt or our diet guide, Eating for Life. Don't forget to like us on your favorite social media channel, whatever that is, because there's like 20 now. At least, yeah. At least. Thank you again so much for working out with us today and feeling that burn in the legs. That's right. I'm Coach Kozak. I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.